Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit different video. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I did have someone rec uh, request this. I just wanted to do that for you guys. Makeup, I do really enjoy it. So I'm getting ready so I thought I might as well just go ahead and film it. But first I'm going to just get this out of the way. Okay, I do any makeup on my face. I first apply this. It's from the ordinary and it's Ageline. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's literally like Botox in a bottle, especially around the forehead and the in between the eyebrows. It really just helps relax those muscles and it stops it from, you know, becoming more creased. Okay, so next after that, I apply my Ultra Repair Cream First Aid Beauty. My I do have dry skin, and this stuff is amazing. And then lastly, last but not least, I do apply a sunscreen. This is from Elta MD. It is the best sunscreen you will ever try. It's got a little tint to it, but literally when you put it on your skin, it does not cover anything up. It's a very, very faint tint. So I have already applied all of that good stuff on my face. Before I begin, I'm going to apply this Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Now that everything pre-makeup is finished, primer and sunscreen and all that good stuff, I do use NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I've been using this for a very long time and it's been working really well for me. It does not... It does not break me out or anything like that. So and this is in the shade Alaska Light 2. And I'm just gonna apply this. I just take one dot and I just kinda go around. So like that and then go ahead and just bounce the beauty blender all around your face. Now I forgot to mention, I do have eyelash extensions that I do myself. I do have a video either coming out or it's already been out that I recorded. I do my eyelash extensions myself, so, and they're professional. Professionally done with like, I'm not a professional, but they're done with professional products. I am loving this Born This Way concealer. It is absolutely amazing, so I understand all the hype. It's amazing if you haven't tried it please go ahead and try it so you have like a nice doe foot applicator and i'm just gonna there we go the concealer is just amazing no creasing whatsoever which is magic literally magic after that, after I apply the concealer, I set my under eye concealer with Makeup Forever setting powder. It's literally the best. It has no flashback. It is extremely fine milled, and I just love it. And I've had this one for a long time, so it lasts you a very long time. It's a pricey one, but I promise it is very worth it. So now that we've covered everything up, I'm going to take out my Lorac Pro. This is just the contour palette that they have. And I use this for eyeshadow because it is just the perfect brown color. And I'm going to use this light shade right here. And I'm just going to go in my crease. And this is just a blending brush by Scone Cosmetics. I got this in a Ipsy bag. So the eyeshadow is on. Just a very, very simple eyeshadow look. I'm gonna do my go-to liquid liner and it is from Physicians Formula. So this is the liquid liner eye booster 2-in-1 lash eyelash boosting eyeliner plus serum whatever probably the best liquid liner i've ever tried so i just kind of hold this eye taut and i make one line 
and I've been doing this for a very long time so you know it's very easy for me to do it even though I do mess up sometimes so there's the one eye so next I'm going to go ahead and do the eyebrows and I'm using the brow I'm using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in medium brown. And I just love this stuff. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I always buy them when they have um, Ulta. Whenever they have like 50% off, I always buy like five, and they last me until the next sale. But the, these last a long time. I've tried other brands, and they just don't last as long. I probably had since January, and it's now July. So six months I'm sorry no eight months I just kind of make sure that went a little too much on the arch right there which I don't like to do but what I do is I make a sharp line underneath my eyebrow and then I just kind of work that out and then just kind of like that. There is that. Next, I am going in, I'm gonna go in with like a pencil type brush. That's what I'm gonna call it. Just a pointy under eye brush. And I'm gonna go in with a, like a medium and dark contour. And I'm just gonna go under my eye. Put some shadow the, on the bottom lash line. Oh, I went a little too much with this one. Oh, just a little lash line shadow, like so. Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I do use this bronze, like to bronze my face as well, but sometimes it comes off a little patchy. So I'm gonna use this one today. And if you have, I have more of like a square face. If you can see, I have you know my jawline right here. For like a square face, I guess. You can go ahead and. A bronze this part too and it's just gonna minimize it a little bit and I'm going to just apply that like so on the side and I'll go up I don't have a huge forehead so I'm going to stop just right here if I go in a little too much if I bronze a little too much right here my forehead looks a little too small and then I go underneath and then I always bring down the bronzer down down the neck and down the chest and you just want everything to look nice and even and I'm going to do the same thing to my other side so I'm going to pick up my contour palette again and I'm going to take this brush it's by Lorac it came with the palette and I love this for contouring my nose and doing other stuff so let me show you I always contour right underneath my nose because this comes down a little bit further than I like so that just works really well for my nose and then I contour the sides of my nose and I just lightly do upper upward strokes just like light and then I do take it along the side just so it looks more natural and I'm doing this with a light contour and then I take my beauty blender and I just go over it very slightly just so it looks natural. This light is washing me out a little bit I feel like, but it looks good in real life. This makeup would, this, this is a makeup look that looks good in real life. Maybe it doesn't look that great on camera, but if you, if I applied enough makeup for it to look good on camera, that means I would not look good in real life. So usually camera makeup, it just looks overdone, over cakey. But the reason is, is because camera washes you out, especially if you're getting photographed and the flash, it, it's gonna... No. Yeah, so my camera overheated, unfortunately. I've already bronzed up and did all that other stuff. Next. I would like to apply some mascara. 
My favorite mascara, even though I wear eyelash extensions, I still apply mascara. It's the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. It is so good. So I just apply the tips, mascara on the bottom. Next, I'm going to apply some blush and I'm gonna use Well Dressed by MAC. It is just my absolute favorite. Pinky, like a bubblegum pink. I'm actually almost out right here. But it's a really nice bubblegum pink. It's just, um, I just love it so much. A blush on, which is Well Dressed from MAC. And my secret weapon in my makeup. And that's literally this Essence Moonlighter. I got this in an Allure, one of their subscription boxes. I, ha I got the, this highlighter and it is absolutely amazing. It is a cushion highlighter. You get a little sponge with it and I just, I love it so much. It is so natural and it's just got the most beautiful reflecting, reflective little whatever they are. It's just a beautiful highlighter and it's a liquid cushion highlighter and do you see that oh man i love it and then i go down my nose a bit like that cupid's bow and then again i do this cheeksicle and i do this over my uh, blush because I don't want too much blush, but I want like a little bit rosiness there. So maybe a little bit there, right there. Not too much, but so I like to take a bronzy eyeliner and I like to line the top waterline. Lips, which are my favorite thing to do. Where is it? All right. So I have my favorite lip liner which is Whirl by MAC. I've been using this a very long time ago. So I'm just gonna line my lips. So there are the lips. And then I have this Too Faced liquid matte lipstick. And this is part of the candy collection and this is the ice cream lipstick and I just like to tap, dab just right in the middle and I like to just tap 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 and it just gives the most beautiful nude lip. I'm gonna go ahead and line one more time. So first I line and then I dab a little bit of liquid lipstick and then I line again and then I kind of just like um, make sure that there's nothing like sharp so I just kind of run my finger over the lip liner again and make sure that it's kind of blended out and not too too contrasty or um, too sharp so that's that's the look let's see if I can get my natural light uh, it's all going down so that's the finished look it's very simple I probably have mascara on my eyelid uh, so it's just a very simple eye look, very minimal eyeshadow. Um, focus a lot of focus on the eyelashes, the eyeliner, and just a nude lip. A very simple, clean face. Um, it's not too perfect because I did use a tinted moisturizer, so you can still see my skin through it. So it's more natural. And that's how I like it. I just don't like it too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or requests, you know where to put those right down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.